Hey Maker users, my name's Sam, and today we're going to go over using and customizing McCormick's default check formats. This video also explains how the system uses different formats in different ways during the payment processing. To learn about the different formats you may want to create, open the McCormick Maker Checkbook setup window for payables. Notice that this window gives you the opportunity to select up to seven different formats for the different purposes used by Dynamics GP payables. The primary check format is the main check that is sent to your vendors. If you want to print a physical copy of that check, use the check copy format. This format could be different than the format you send to your vendors. For example, some companies like to archive the GL distributions on their check copies, so McCorma provides a DL distribution format for that purpose. The check overflow format and check copy overflow format are used when you want to have a different format for overflows. Overflows occur when there are too many invoices being paid to fit on a single remittance portion. The additional invoices can continue onto additional check stock forms. The check portion will be voided out. Or you can use an overflow format that fills an entire page and is printed on blank paper instead of check stock. The continuation check is usually chosen when the situation is rare, and the overflow option is usually chosen when this is a common situation. The EFT remittance options defaults to check face slash overflow stub. If you leave this default, the McCormick Micker will use the exact same formats for EFTs as it does for checks. Since EFTs do not require the check portion of the format, many people like to change that. To do that, click the arrow, select EFT remittance format, and select a format. Note, if you came from a prior version of McCormick Micker, the EFT remittance options defaulted to GP Report Writer. You will want to change that to make sure that your EFT format matches McCormick Micker, and that McCormick Micker can send the EFT remittances for you. It is also a required change if you are going to use McCorma Multi-Batch Management. Lastly, we have the Refund Check and Refund Check Overflow formats. Refund checks are used when doing a refund to a customer for something that they returned in sales order process. The only format that you are required to designate is the primary check format. You also have to designate how to handle overflows by choosing an overflow check format, or checking this box to use the primary check format as the overflow format. Before customizing, it is good to create a new format based on an existing format to use as a starting point. First, select the checkbook that you want to configure. Click on the lookup to the right of Primary Check Format, and from here you can see that McCormick Micker comes with a library of pre-configured formats for your use. Most of these files are based on standard three-part check stock, with a check portion on the top, middle, or bottom a remittance, and a copy of the remittance. However, those that say two-thirds are used when you want to print a check on top or bottom and use two-thirds of the page for remittances to fit more remittances onto one page. And the overflow formats are a full page and are very handy for EFT remittances. The name of each format file indicates key information that is included on that format. The first part of the format name shows whether it is a primary, overflow, or refund check. The primary formats are labeled AP check for payables check, US payroll for United States payroll checks, and CND AP for Canadian payables checks. The second part of the format name tells you about the layout, including where a check will be located, such as Z fold, bottom, middle, or top. Formats that are marked simply with a two will have a check and two copies of the remittance while formats labeled two-thirds will have a check take up a third of the paper, as well as one long copy of the remittance. Formats labeled check copy will have a check, a voided copy of the check, and a single copy of the remittance. Formats labeled overflow will have no check on them, just the remittance portion, which is reaffirmed by the label full, included in each of the overflow format names. And finally, refund check formats will take their remittance fields from the SOP module, if you are using the refund checks feature. A special type of format is Z-Fold, which will have a check, one copy of the remittance, and a third portion for the vendor's address. These are used in high volume situations to print checks on pressure seal check stock that is then run through a folding machine. 
Lastly, the type of fields housed within each format are indicated by the final wording of each name. Format files labeled GLDist will show purchasing GL distributions. The rest of them mimic various default remittance reports available in GP, some that show voucher number, others that show PO number, and some that show discounts taken. The best way to find what you want is to open each of them and examine the columns. You must select one from the library and then open it on the McCormick Maker Check setup window using the primary check format link, which will launch the McCormick Configurator. Look through several and find the one closest to what you are looking for. The first thing that you'll want to do before making changes to this format is to save a new copy, which will be the version that you actually edit. To do this, click Save As at the top left of the screen. When saving this new format, be sure to name it in a way that will help you remember the use of that format. In this case, I'll simply label the format First Bank, as this will be the primary check format that I use for the First Bank checkbook. Additionally, it's helpful to prepend the name of your new format with an exclamation point so that it displays at the top of the format library. Upon saving, you'll notice that the file name on the current format has changed. From here, you can go on to edit to your needs. And that's how to use and customize McCormick's default check formats. If you need more information on any of the processes mentioned in this video, please view the page linked in the description of this video for additional resources. We hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.